Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the video with the Roshan Redemption, and you guys are seeing the title of this video correctly. Today, I'm going to be showing you all how to make friends with a Deathclaw in Fallout 4. First off, you're going to want to make your way to an area called the Museum of Witchcraft, which is located in the northeastern part of the Commonwealth. Once you're there, go to the right-hand side of the building when looking at the front entrance, and there you'll find a dead body with a holotape on it. Pick up the holotape and play it. Doing so will start a quest called a Devil's Do, and this quest is pretty much the key to befriending a Deathclaw. After starting the quest, the quest marker will direct you to the basement entrance to the museum, so take that and then head inside. Inside the museum, you're going to hear a lot of very ominous shaking noises, but for now just ignore them and make your way to the upper floor. Once you're on the second floor, be super careful because there is going to be a pretty difficult deathclaw enemy up there. For me, it was a savage deathclaw, and if you're level 50 or below, it will be a savage deathclaw. If you're level 50 to 65, it will either be a chameleon deathclaw or an albino deathclaw. And finally, if you're level 65 or above, it's going to be a mythic deathclaw. After defeating the deathclaw, be sure to loot the chest on the second floor, and then make your way to a room filled with cracked deathclaw eggs. When you're inside the room, you should see a hollow tape on the ground, so be sure to pick that up and play it. But more importantly, you're also going to see a pristine deathclaw egg in there, and you definitely want to pick that up. And at this point, you have a couple of options with how you want to complete the quest. The first option is to deliver the egg to Wellingham, who's a Mr. Handy that works at the Colonial Tap House in Diamond City. And the reward for doing this is the recipe for the Tasty Deathclaw Omelette, as well as the recipe for Deathclaw Wellingham, which are actually both pretty good items. The Deathclaw Omelette is especially good because it restores 115 points of HP and boosts your maximum HP by 50 points for 2 hours. But in my opinion, the cooler option is to go and return the Deathclaw Egg to its nest. The nest is located to the northwest of the Museum of Witchcraft, and luckily it's not too difficult to find because the game does give you a quest marker, but it is a little bit far off. Nonetheless, once you're there, put the egg back in the Deathclaw Nest, and a friendly Deathclaw will appear. So long as you do not attack it or try to take back the egg, it is not going to harm you. Additionally, next to the nest is a free Deathclaw Gauntlet, so make sure to pick that up as well. Also, just a quick note on the quest options here, the Tasty Deathclaw Omelette is actually probably the more useful option because it is a very good item, so if you guys want to go for that option instead of the friendly Deathclaw option, then I wouldn't blame you at all. Well, alright folks, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Fallout 4 content in the future. The common question today is what is your guys' favorite enemy in Fallout 4? For me, it's actually probably the Deathclaw. I think they've done a really good job within the game. I love the design. I love how they included different variants of the Deathclaw. So I'm going to go ahead and say the Deathclaw, but let me know what you guys think. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.